Today we're going to make a dodecahedron, actually a variety of dodecahedron. This uh, I made yesterday, uh, a regular dodecahedron, 12 sides. Uh, each one is a pentagon with three balls on each side, and it was extremely difficult to make. It's made out of um, basically circles. You start with circles, 10 balls each but it's extremely tedious and hard to make it go together so I thought well let's try to make the pentagon a little stronger so what we're going to do is make a little pyramid type pentagon with ten balls on the bottom five balls on the next level and one ball at the top so it's a little five-sided pyramid and make a dodecahedron out of that and you'll see it doesn't come out exactly like I thought it would so what you need is uh, 12 circles with 10 balls each 12 with 5 balls each and a single dot and the way we orient them is make sure the circles with 10, we put them together that the balls only touch one ball each. So when you slide them together, they touch one ball instead of being intermeshed. So, so that's, that's good. So if you find that they go like that and it uh, touches two balls, then you flip it over. So those will be, we want uh, 12 of those. 12 of these and the way you orient these is uh, what you want is them to actually touch two balls so it's the opposite you want um, instead of having it touch just one ball when you do it or each ball touch one ball you want it the reverse you want each ball touching two balls when you force them together so that's the way you want it oriented then when you put them together to form the second level it sort of pops right into place then when you put the dot on top it you can kind of have to force it so now you have a pentagon shaped pyramid ten balls on the bottom five balls on the second level one ball on the top so I've made uh, 11 other ones of those, so we're going to put those together. And th these kind of just fly together, especially if they're oriented properly. Um, you just stick them together so each side touches two sides, at least to start. And so it's very quick to put together, but the odd thing about it is when you get it done, you it doesn't look like it's a these are pentagons at all. In fact, it looks like an icosahedron, which is 20-sided uh, triangles. The triangles are a little warped, so they kind of curve down. But it's a this is a solid figure, um, but the original uh, pentagon are kind of gone so anyway it's a very interesting uh, shape I don't know what you call it but it's uh, that's it thanks